this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you in depth how to create a handwriting effect. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel. Alright, let's dive right in. First important step is to find the right font. I use Adobe fonts, like most of you probably, as it comes with the Creative Cloud subscription. So for this task, I am looking for brush pen fonts. And let's use the cinema script. Activate it, then let's head over to After Effects. I've already created a comp and added a simple background solid. We grab the type tool, then in the character window, let's choose the cinema script as font. Color, black. We set the size to 600 pixels. And let's add some text. Hand, capital H. We switch back to the selection tool. And in the align window, let's center the text layer. Then let's turn that text into a path. We right click on the text layer and in create, we click create shapes from text, which creates a new shape layer. In the contents property, there is a shape for each letter. Let's look at the capital H, the way the letter is designed. We would draw the left vertical line first, then start here on the right, then over to the left, then down and up the right vertical line. In order to animate the H, we need to separate these two parts. Let's do that. And duplicate the shape layer and name it H1. We open the contents property and delete all shapes, except the H. Then we duplicate this layer, which is H2. H1 is the first part, the left vertical line. We hide the hand outlines layer and we open the H1 shape. And it contains two paths. We don't need the second path, delete it. Then we select the remaining H path and delete all points of the right part. Then those two sticking out on the left. Let's hide the H2 layer as well. Now we need to correct the edge of the stroke. Let's zoom in a little bit. We use the handles of the points to get rid of this half circle. I think we can delete the bottom point. Awesome. The left edge is fairly straight. I think we simply delete the two points. Yes. And we got the left stroke separated. Let's work on the right part. We open the contents property and let's hide the H1 layer. We delete the top points of the left stroke and the bottom points. Then we need to fix the shape of the stroke using the handles of the points again. Awesome. Let's quickly hide the shape path. Looks good. And here are both parts together. Then we duplicate the hand outline shape three times to get one layer for each of the other letters. Let's name them A, delete all the shapes except the A, N, delete all the shapes except the N, D, delete all shapes except the D. Let's make them visible and lock the original shape layer and the text layer as backup. Awesome. Let's look at our text one more time. Zoom out again. We should move the letters slightly closer together so that the stroke disappears completely by a few pixels. That's better. The same with the D. We move it to the left by a few pixels. Before we animate, let's check out an amazing animation course by Domestica. Learn how to create expressive typography in motion with After Effects. Design letter forms in Illustrator and animate them in After Effects. Start with research and references, color, then design a letter phrase in Illustrator. In After Effects, animate it using kinetic typography. I've added the link to this course and all animation courses to the description. And even better, use the code MANUALDESMOTION10 for an extra 10% off. <laughs> Let's animate. We start with the H, obviously. H1. With no layer selected, we grab the pen tool. No fill, a white stroke, with around 100 pixels. Then we draw a line that covers the vertical stroke. Let's zoom in again. We start at the top, then go down, slightly bending the line, like the stroke. Let's name the layer Mask H1. We open the contents property, twirl deeper into the stroke 1 property and set line cap to round cap. We select the path again, switch back to the selection tool. 
and quickly readjust the shape. Then we add a trim pass animator. We open the property and set the end to zero at the beginning. Add a keyframe. We set it back to 100% at six frames. We select both keyframes, right click on one of them and add easy ease to both of them. Finally, we use the layer as luma mat for H1. Click the left field to switch from alpha to luma. And we animated the first stroke. Next, we animate the second part of the age, H2. With no layer selected, we grab the pen tool again, stroke width, still 100 pixels, and redraw the second stroke, roughly. We begin on the right, move left, then back and down, finally upwards. We name this layer Mask H2. Then we go into the stroke 1 property of the layer, set line cap to round cap, and line join to round join. Then we go back into the shape 1 property of the Mask H1 shape, and copy the two keyframes of the trim pass animator. Command or Control C, you select shape 1 of the Mask H2 layer and paste them. Then we press U to see the keyframes in the timeline. We move the first keyframe to 6 frames, the second one to 16 frames. We open the graph editor, switch to the selection tool and further slow down the end of the animation. Then we use the mask H2 layer as luma mat for the H2 layer. Let's see, we zoom out. The timing seems right. Now we need to adjust the mask some more. Make sure no parts are accidentally revealed before they should be revealed. It's a lot of tweaking of the part. That's why these hand lettering animations take a lot of time. So it's a technique you should use for logos or monograms, for example. The most difficult parts are where strokes are intersecting. I got the bottom edge right, the top part shouldn't be revealed yet. We need to cover that part with a mask. We choose the rectangle tool and switch to tool creates mask up here to add a mask. We place it roughly, then in the mask property set its mode to subtract. Next. We refine the bottom edge. Then let's see when we need to reveal this part. At frame 11, it is still hidden. We add a mask path keyframe. One frame later, we move it away. Awesome! This is the age animated. Let's add some texture to it to make it look more handmade and unique. First of all, we select the H1 layer and add roughen edges. Let's use the effects and presets window to search for it, then add it. We adjust some settings and set the border to around 6, the scale to around 125, complexity to 10, and you can already see the edges have changed. Additionally, let's add turbulent displays. We reduce the amount to 5, size 100, complexity 1. We copy the two effects and paste them to the H2 layer. Then we select the mask H1 layer and add turbulent noise to partially reduce the opacity of the mask. We set contrast to 500 and invert the effect. Brightness 25. In transform we set scale to 600. Complexity. One. Next we duplicate the effect, Command or Control D. Reduce the contrast to 200 and in Transform we set Scale back to 100. Complexity 10 this time. Finally we set the Blending Mode of the effect to Overlay. Again we copy both effects and paste them to the Mask H2 layer. Awesome! It feels more like ink now. Finally, we add an adjustment layer. Name it Blur. And add Gaussian Blur. We set blurriness to 6. It blurs everything. Of course, we don't want that. We add one more solid above. 
color, doesn't matter, and name it noise. We add turbulent noise again. Set contrast to 1200 this time. Complexity to 1. And use it as luma mat for the blur. So only the white parts of the noise layer are slightly blurred. The same principle applies to the other letters. Check out the project file and join my newsletter for exclusive content. On the left side of edit a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.